They said it's going to get worse. Three weeks ago, I told you Patrick Murphy's story about being injured from a downed fence surrounding the city-owned lot on West 106th and Madison. After our phone calls, zip ties now hold this fence together, so the city did respond and come out for a fix. But directly across from this field of weeds is this fence. Remains untouched, been broken for a while, even though city crews were already out here. The broken fence on West 110th is surrounded by deeply broken sidewalks and huge chunks of cement. And that's not even mentioning the tall weeds that are still there three weeks later. I was told the city doesn't have the right tools to chop the weeds. It contracts out the work and it's searching for a new company to cut them. And to add insult to injury. It feels like you're on, a, on one of the old wooden roller coasters. West 106 that borders the old Midland Steel now vacant lot is in terrible shape. But the road is so horrible. I've got flat tires. My other my other car I actually hit a pothole down here to rip the muffler off. So even though there could be good news about selling the property in the future, the neighbors say they need action now. Being ignored is, is not tolerable. It's, it's bad over here. I'm on your side investigator, Jonathan Walsh. Mayor Frank Jackson's office declined the E-team's request for an on-camera interview. Councilwoman Dona Brady, whose ward the site falls in, tells us the ordinance could be passed as early as this month or when the council reconvenes in September. And you still have time to pick up your tickets for two huge lottery jackpots. There were no winners for the latest Mega Millions and Powerball drawings. So the next Mega Millions drawing is tomorrow.